Welcome to my channel folks. Today I'm going to show you how to use Lambda to copy AMIs from one region to another region. The reasons for that is your developer might be sitting in Bangalore and creating AMIs in Mumbai region, which you want to deploy in other regions, say Virginia or Ohio. Or the other use case might be you want your DR to be copied from one region to another region so that you will have the latest image ready so you can start your servers or virtual machines when something happens to your primary region. So here I have written a simple uh, Lambda bot which is going to check for my current images as a step one on the source region that you define. And then it is going to see whether the destination is going to have the same image. So if it is not having the same image, it is going to copy that image and add up the cleanup tags and it is going to repeat this process for the other destination regions. So if you want to look at this in an architectural way, here, this is how it would look like. So the CloudWatch is going to trigger the Lambda function every single day at midnight or whatever time you are choosing. And it is going to check in the source region. In this case, it is going to be the Mumbai region here, AP South. And then it is going to copy it to two different destinations in US East and US East 2. So for this, doing this demo, we have a couple of prerequisites. Let us go ahead and see that. So first thing is we need an AMI created preferably, as I said earlier, AP South 1. And also we need a Lambda function or a Lambda role, which allows us with full access to EC2. And as you can see here, the code is also given below. Let us go ahead and see the prerequisites. I have got my dashboard open in EC2. And you can see here you have the production web server 1 running. And I have taken an AMI. Today, that is, I have created an AMI. As you can see here, I named it AMI for Prod Web Server. And today's date is December 28. So I have just named, uh, created it, as you can see it here, and it is ready and available. So that ticks off one of our prerequisites. Let us go ahead and see the other prerequisite, that it's an IAM role. So I have called my role as a Lambda AMI Replicator Bot. If I go ahead and open it, you can see here, it has the Amazon EC2 full access permissions. So the last thing for us to do is go ahead and create our Lambda functions. So for that, let me go ahead and create a Lambda function. And I'm going to call it AMI replicator bot. And our remember, our functions are written in Python 3 and they use a Python 2.7 runtime. So I've done that. Let me go ahead and choose the Lambda AMI replicator bot. Click on create function. Now I need the code for my function, which is given in my GitHub article. Let us go ahead and copy that. So I'm just going to go to my GitHub, copy all the code that is shown here, and then put it into my Lambda function now. So where do I put it? All you have to do is click on this and then scroll down. You will have the window to copy the function. So I'm going to leave the rest of all the activities as default. I'm not going to change anything here. Click on save. The next thing is to in add our CloudWatch triggers. So for that, let me scroll up to the top and here you'll have the CloudWatch events. I'm going to add that and the trigger is going to be configured now. So it's loading. So I'm going to pick up a new rule. I'm going to call it AMI replication rule. I'm just going to have that as the same as description. And I'm going to use a schedule pattern of rate equal to, let us say five minutes in this case. So every five minutes, assuming that I create a new image, probably in production, you want to do it as one day as it is shown here in the bottom. But I want this demo to happen immediately. So I want to give it as five minutes. So I'm going to click on add and then I'm going to save it. So meanwhile, you can see here, I have already opened my Virginia snapshots dashboard as well as my AMIs. Let me click on that. And I also opened my Ohio snapshot as well as AMI because the reason is it creates a snapshot first and then creates an image out of it. So with my Lambda triggers, we should be able to see a new image with the same description that you saw here as uh, AMI for prod web server copied to my destination region. So let's give it a minute for the Lambda function to trigger and then we'll come back and see it. It has been a while now, my Lambda has triggered and as you can see here, I am in the Virginia region and I'm in the snapshot section and you can see here, my snapshot has been completed and even the source AMI is matching. While if I go to my AMI section, 
I will be seeing my AMI image getting created. Uh, likewise, if I go to my Ohio region, once again, my snapshot is completed. And if I go to my AMIs, my AMI is getting created or image is getting replicated here. So that is how you use Lambda to copy images from one region to another region without any manual effort. Thanks for watching. Happy learning. If you like it, subscribe it.